Rescue operations got underway without delay to help at least 30 people who were trapped in this old and abundant gold mine. They were believed to be illegal miners. Those who were towards the top of the old shaft managed to speak to the rescue teams. Unconfirmed reports said there may have been as many as 200 miners trapped underground. Heavy lifting equipment was used to remove the concrete boulders to gain entry into the disused mine. This was a closed shaft. It was closed with the concrete slabs deliberately so to prevent people from entering. But uh, they have somehow managed to open up a hole on the side. We are enlarging the hole so that we can be able to leave them out of the shaft. We are at the scene of the disused mine where the miners were trapped underground here. As you can see, the rescue teams are still here, but they're all leaving because the ones that have been rescued, the illegal miners that have been rescued and been brought up to the surface, have all been arrested. And the ones that are still remaining there are refusing to come up, even though a ladder had been sent them uh, to them below the surface for them to come out, because they know that when they get out of that hole down there where those teams are still standing, they will also be arrested. It is not entirely clear what caused this incident, but some reports suggested that it could have been a rival group of miners who blocked the point of entry. So far, no one has been killed or injured. The matter has been left in the hands of the police. Milton Ngosi, BBC News in Binoni.